Hey, welcome to the Expectant Nerd Podcast. I'm your host, Steph, and with me today is little Mr. Ruland. He is sound asleep in his baby hawk, so he probably will not be contributing a lot to this week's episode, but he's here, and so I thought I'd record with him here, since he's quiet and happy right now. Um, first order of business is, I'm changing the name of the podcast. <laughs> Because I'm no longer an expectant knitter. So, going forward, henceforth, the podcast shall be named Knitting Samurai Plus One. So, um, I'm going to change the name of the group on Ravelry. And um, you'll have to resubscribe to the different podcasts in iTunes. Um, there will be a blog. What will we call the blog? I don't know. See, I've just thought this up and haven't really thought it through yet, so um, I guess it will be something along the lines of knittingsamuraiplus1.blogspot.com. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll go get that website set up. <laughs> and again, I'll run this through iTunes and the plus one will either be about Roland or Steve or something that's going on someone I know maybe I'll have some guest stars who knows but uh, for now it will be Knitting Samurai plus one so this will be the last expectant knitter unless there is an expectant knitter rides again at some point in the future but honestly right now I cannot imagine that so <laughs> um, so let's, and I have no show notes, and I've done very little knitting, but I felt the need to talk to you all, so here we are, and we're going to fly by the seat of my pants, so um, I guess we usually start with the knitting content, so let's do that. <laughs> what is in this knitting bag of mine? I know I've worked on it this week. Oh, yeah, okay. That's how scattered I am lately. Um, first up is the... Let me get the name right for you here. Um, I know, you're looking at his hat, aren't you? And that's his rainbow hat that he pretty much lives in because we brought him home from the hospital and I had knit six, seven baby hats and this is the only one that fits him that isn't pink because I was knitting girl and boy hats. So he's been wearing this quite a bit. Um, and of course, all the nurses at the hospital loved it. And we've been back a couple times to see the lactation specialist. And every time he goes out, we get a comment about, oh my god, what a cute hat! So yeah, he's this is his hat. Um, if you ever watched Family Guy, Steve and I have been joking and calling him Meg because Meg always has on that pink beanie. And he pretty much always has on this rainbow hat. But um, yeah. So what's currently on my needles is the Melrose Peacoat by Cicely Glauick McDonald. So I started with the front panel. I believe this is the right side. And I've got that much done. So about six inches so far. Um, I think since we've been back from the hospital. So it's been... He is 13 days old. Can you believe it? 13 days old. Um... So we've been home for, I don't know, nine days. And in those nine days, I've probably knit an inch on this. But I have knit, which is good, because that first week I did no knitting. So um, it's going pretty well. It's very drapey. Um, what else can I tell you about it? I am using, I am using Cascade Eco Plus, and I'm knitting it on U.S. size 10. I don't know the millimeter for that, but that's what I'm using. Um, six millimeter needles. So, um, it's going pretty well. Yeah, there you go. So this I had been calling my Rhinebeck sweater. And at this moment, Rhinebeck is about four weeks away. And he'll be just past the six week mark when it's safe to take him out into large crowds. Um, not sure if I'm going to go, <laughs> to be honest. I love Rhinebeck. I think it's a great experience, but 
Ooh, little guy. It might be tough. Oh, he looks so cute right now. I kind of want to bring you over here and show you. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. No. Extra close-up. Hello, we've never been this close. You and I. So there's a sleeping Roland. So cute. Am I allowed to say that? I think so. Anyways, head out. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, yeah. All right. The other thing that's on the needles this week um, is, I'm going to have to link it in the show notes, the Simple Baby Hat. I'm not sure who it's by. <laughs> but it's um, very similar to this hat. And... I'm using Barocco Comfort DK in this teal color, which is 2758, and this green color, which is 2761, and it's the um, exact same as US 5s, or the needles, and it's the exact same number of stitches as this, 17, 72 stitches around, so I am making him another hat so he's less Meg. Um, I need to knit a little faster, I think, because as of today, he's quite the growing boy at his doctor's appointment, so, um, just need to, to get it done so he can get it on and not always have this hat on. So, that is also on the needles this week, and it's, um, just a rolled brim, stock and hat stitch, and you can see that the green, excuse me for a moment. He just wanted to scratch. Um, anyways, so you can see it's just a simple, simple little stripe in the, in the hat. So, and then the third thing on the needles, you know how I cast on those delivery socks? Yeah, stop laughing. Um, <laughs> I, they've been great for late at, late at night, for about 8 o'clock when he goes down and my brain is done for the day and I can just knit stocking it in the round. So I have been doing that. This is um, three years twisted in fiber. Um, hold on. Three years twisted in fiber. You look great in stripes. And the color is the Harry Potter colorway. How did they get Harry Potter for this? I mean, this is like fuchsia and teal and yellow. I don't quite know what about that is Harry Potter. It's a great color. I special ordered it because I really like this color. Um, yeah, so that is how far I am so far. I am a, I'm going to attempt an afterthought heel. I've never done an afterthought heel, so this will be new for me. I think it takes like two, two and a half inches to do the, the toe. At least that's what makes sense to me. So I measured on my foot. Um, two and a half inches from the edge of my heel and drew a little line and so as I'm getting closer to the spot I drew on my foot I'll know when to start the um, or when to place the the line the waist yarn on this so it's coming along really nice fabric um, I think it's a what is it it's a 75 superwash merino 25% nylon and it's knitting really densely on 1.5, 2.5 millimeter needles. And yeah, it's knitting pretty dense and it's going to be nice and warm. And they're still in my delivery socks, but not knit on during delivery. So, um, the Veritas Fingerless Mitt. I don't know if I showed it to you or not. I had been working on it. Um, I can't find it right now. <laughs> and honestly, with him strapped to me, I'm not going to go digging around looking too hard for something. So, um, I'll show it to you next week, next time we talk. But those, I worked on those the Friday night I went into labor. I was working on them. Um, or that. And I would say I've got about four inches done so far. So, it's going along. Um... What else? I think that's all I have for knitting updates for right now. Oh, I do. Okay, next segment. So, something about plus one or baby or rolling. So, um, <laughs> who knew 
and maybe this is just a me thing, that being a new mom was such a stinky endeavor. Like, <laughs> I swear to God, I am showering every day and putting on deodorant two or three times a day. I stink. Like, what's up with this? I didn't realize that suddenly I would be like, yeah, hello, underarm smell. This is brand new to me. So I'm hoping it has something to do with the hormones and, I don't know, getting rid of all the excess water out of my body or something. But, um, yeah, so I'm stinky. Steve is such a good sport. It's like, oh my God, can you smell me? No, no, no. So who knows if he can or not, but he's not letting on that he can. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh! I gained 45 pounds, right, during pregnancy, and he weighed 8 pounds, 8 ounces, and after 10 days postpartum, I got on the scale, and I had lost, are you ready for this, 28 pounds. It blew my mind. I don't know if that's normal or not. I had expected I might lose 20 pounds, but 28 pounds, I'm stoked, so that leaves me another 17 to get off. And then I'll be back at my post, pre, pre, not post, pre-pregnancy size. So, very excited about that. And we have been going for at least one walk a day this week. So, today we actually did two walks, which is why he's in the hawk. Because that's the preferred way to walk a Roland. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm feeling really encouraged about that. I'm not about to jump into doing the, the shred with everybody else but walking is good and um, it's surprising how quickly your you know the body comes back or I don't know I was it was such a taxing event on like my upper body going through delivery and birth and all that and then for the next few days I walked like an old man just like really deliberate slow <laughs> slow steps but um we might have to stop. <laughs> really deliberate slow steps, but then, um, you know, like that. It's like, oh, I'm back to me, and I can run up a flight of stairs, and it's just, you know, the end of pregnancy. There's so much that you have no energy, and it's just like, oh, I don't want to move, and then, no, I'm back to me. I'm back to, or nearly back to me, so that's been cool. Um, hmm. Did you know that apricots are a great source of iron? Dried apricots? Hmm, yes. I've been working on getting enough iron in my diet. <laughs> Thought I'd share that. What else can I tell you? Um, Roland. So he, Roland has gone from 8 pounds 8 ounces to at 13 days, he is now 8 pounds, three, 13 ounces. So he has gained a good bit of weight this past week, and everyone is very pleased with him. Um, it's been, he's been very, very fussy the last couple days, and it's been tiring. <laughs> um, yeah, so to the point where we're going, where did our sweet little baby boy go? And who is this screaming thing that, but... Um, the uh, nurses that we spoke with today were saying, well, maybe he's going through a growth spurt and you just got to keep giving him food. Give him food. Every time he gets upset, just feed him because he's not going to get fat and he needs it to grow. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it for me. One more thing. What's new? Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'll still keep what's new as a segment. But, um, and I'll try not to um so much. It's better when I have notes, yeah. Yeah, so if this is the first time you're watching me, this is not how I typically am. But we'll get back to normal soon, right? Um, exciting news for me, I went in on the SSK, the um, Super Summer Knitaway on the lottery, and I won. I got in. Woo! So I'm really excited that I will be going there next, the end of next June, and uh, visiting with 
the Knit Girls and Karen from Around the Twist. Um, not really feeling kind of torn, you know, because right now I wouldn't want to leave Roland for four days, five days, whatever it is. But I'm hoping by next June I'll be able to say, yep, that's good. Take a little, take a little mini mommy vacation. So we'll see how that goes. Tell me if you think I'm crazy for thinking that. But uh, <laughs> I think that's that's it. Yeah, I. I'm not going to be buying yarn for a while. No, I think I'll just be buying diapers. Yeah. Hey, those things are kind of expensive. We got um, six of the cloth bum genie diapers, which came very highly recommended to us. And I don't think they work for newborn size. And if they do, we're still like trying to get our feet underneath us and don't want to quite tackle that just yet but they're very cute and after spending $90 on two boxes of diapers today I'm pretty sure we're gonna try cloth because <laughs> diapers are expensive Whew. yeah but anyways that is what's going on here in my knitting world this week um, I hope you're having a good time doing whatever you're doing and I will see you back here in another week. Alright, take care. Bye.